Merry Christmas to all of you. So welcome back. Now I have integrated LTX video image to video functionality in the code. And if you are installing it for the first time, just view this guide on how to install it. If you have already installed it, then follow these steps. So navigate to the folder, launch a new command prompt and use git call command. Next, activate the virtual environment. And once the virtual environment is activated, follow these steps. Navigate inside the LTX folder and use this command to launch the Gradle based web UI. Now, once all the models are downloaded and the Gradle server is started, control click on this link to launch the Gradle based web UI. So, in this interface, only a new addition is the input image. So, this is where you select the image and then provide the prompt and play around with other settings. Now, it is very important that you should use the smaller dimensions of the image if you have less VRAM because this requires more VRAM than text to video. So I've select downloaded this image from Civit AI. Someone created this beautiful image. I have created this prompt with the help of Claude. And then basically we need to provide width height according to this image. So it's 640 by 928. So I've added these details here. And if you are getting VRAM issue, code out of memory issue, you can maybe reduce the number of frames and reduce the dimension of image. Make sure the both the dimensions, width and height are divisible by 32. And then you can update other settings and click on generate video. So for this resolution image, it requires around 8.4 GB of VRAM. And basically, since it is spilling on, the processing is spilled on shared GPU memory, it slows down the overall process. So if you further reduce the image dimensions, then it will fit within the dedicated GPU memory, and the inference will be faster. If you are going to increase the frames, then it may require around 11 something GB of GPU memory. But it is working fine on 8 GB of VRAM and 8 GB of shared RAM. So the processing inference took around 3 minutes 41 seconds and another 3 minutes to generate the video. So the output is ready. Quality is very good. Very nice. So I updated the batch processing tab and I've tested it is working fine. Thank you.